10 it's it's taking 20 years and it says stop recording yeah cool all right cool all right let me see kick this off right now okay guys it's roger moore here back on the lift show oh god a friend with me today um, how's it doing in Bormio tonight? We're going to bring me our kid. No, no. Um, her name is Darshe. Say what's up, Darshe. Hi. She said it in a nice way, innit? She's going to say, yo, what's up? I'm here. Yo, Darshe. Or anything summertime here. But anyway, still, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep it real now. But anyway, guys, listen, enjoy the vibes of Disappointed by Aaron Cole. We're just playing that right now, still, yeah. Just enjoy the vibes. We've got a special today. You won't hear my voice for that. So, it's so all good still. Bless you. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like? Why you gotta be like that? Got me so disappointed. This is so disappointing. But I know you hold me down. Got me so disappointed. This is so disappointing. Call a stare at the phone Trying to make myself at home Without you but I'm alone Yeah, I bought you birthday gifts I never did that I never caught these feelings Guess you did that Who was here when you was crying It was bad If you think about it It was me, I was there But you giving me your air Oh, that's how you do Guess that's what I get For trusting in you I should be focusing Spending my time with God He loves me unconditional You love me sometimes So tell me why you gotta say that why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like? Why you gotta be like that? Got me so disappointed. This is so disappointing. But I know you'll hold me down. Got me so disappointed. This is so disappointing. But I know you'll hold me it's hard when people let you down There's no one around But I know he's got me now oh, oh. He's holding me when my shoulders weak And I can't believe how to treat me And I know you'll never leave oh, oh, oh. Why you gotta say that? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like, why you gotta be like that? Got me so disappointed, this is so disappointing, but I know you'll hold me down. Got me so disappointed, this is so disappointing, but I know you'll hold me down. Got me so disappointed. But I know you hold me down. Got me so disappointed. This is so disappointing. But I know you hold me down forever. Yo, yo, we're back now, guys. Right. There's a reason why we're going to be doing something different in this show today, yeah? But the reason why we've got the lovely Darshe. Let me say, hey guys. Anyway, say so. Anyway, so yeah, don't worry. Hey, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna be, she's gonna be on it, man. She's gonna take over my job. She's my lift show. When you, when you take it over, lift show fifty. Mm. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Uh, I'll make sure she get more faced here. Yeah? We we'll work, we we'll work on that still, yeah. You know what I mean? Get ready for radio that still. But anyway, Darche, right? You wrote a call with you that went on the radio the other day. Not radio. I'm on the radio now. Um, which went on step forward website you know you was there at chauncey johnson gig um out of 10 what are you saying um the whole concert yeah probably a nine Ooh. Nine, say. shout out to the credit guys no nah, no nah, it was a gl show <laughs> and, uh, and i can I, I can take some credit but pity mans can't go on the stage and do his thing still yeah but anyway still yeah you know what i mean so kind of like that's the vibe anyway still yeah so you would you would say it's nine out of ten 
Yeah, I'd say 9 out of 10. Okay, guys, hashtag 9 out of 10 still, yeah? You know what I mean? That's a Sean C. Johnson gig. Um, right, what parts of the show was great? Because one of our frustrations is that, you know, is that he's going to a gospel event, lesser experience. I'm not saying you, 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 you go secular gigs all the time. And when I say secular, then we're going to hope the, the whole debate. Yes, people who listen to the show, is secular, secular. Anyway, take that aside. But, you know... In terms of the show, in terms of a quality event, in general, events-wise, do you rate the show or are you treating it 9 out of 10 because it's a gospel show? Or 9 out of 10 as a show, full stop? I would say as a show, full stop. Okay, 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 okay. So it was, it was it professionally done and, yeah. and and the artists were on point and whatever because we started off with ATT Thai. No, AT Thai. Yeah? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what was he thinking of them? Because obviously they're, they're local Bromley people. Um, it was my first time seeing them. I mm-hmm. thought they performed well. They mm-hmm. got the crowd engaged. Everyone mm-hmm. was like singing along. So mm-hmm. I think it was really good. good mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. You know, when you see Birmingham Max, do you. Are you just disappointed that there's nobody really making it big? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we sorry people. We just biased Birmingham people here, and I'm just asking a young uh, young person from Birmingham. You know, it's it's it, it's not really inspiring when you look at the artists that are doing things. It's all got um, um, southern accents. Sorry, Jay. You know what I mean. So we got London in the house here still. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're packing up London. But no, it's great to see what's going on. But for our hometown, you know, it's great to see some talent coming through. Um, and the biggest shock of the night. In a weird sense, as much as AT Ty was a shock to me, like, yo, how great it was, I did kind of pick them, but, you know, it was kind of weird to see some artists come kind of through. But, um, Shant, is it Shantae? Shantae, Shantae, yeah. I don't know how to say that Shantae part, I'm just going Shantae. But anyway, still, yes, yeah, so, but Shantae, is that how you say? Fuller. Shantae, yeah. Yeah, Shantae. Um, so, what are you saying about her? I love that voice. I've never really heard of her mm-hmm. as well. I've seen mm-hmm. her before, but never really heard her live. And she's really good. I liked her style, everything about her, which was really good. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, some, 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 some good things there. And I think that, you know what, still, yeah, you, you know what my problem is as well, you know what I mean, to be honest, is that, um, you know, we need more shows like this in Birmingham because, you know, and I said Birmingham, we need more sh- shows like this in the UK, you know what I'm saying, for me, because, uh, it's kind of dry out here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know, you, you, you try, you try and do, try and keep a legit like holy life. And you're like, what are we doing this weekend? Next flicks and chill. All right, cool, cool, cool. What are we do next week? What, 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 can we go out? No, it's next flicks and chill. Okay, you know what I mean. And the ironic thing was, the artist said, "What do you do in your spare time? Next flicks and chill." And you're thinking, is that all we do in our life? Next flick and chill and go to church. <laughs> is that what you do after this? No. Oh, it's Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's Amazon Prime right here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm advertising on this. Yo, Amazon Prime, hopefully listening. Netflix, come and sponsor the Lyft show. You know what I'm saying? Give me free subscription. I can give out for free for my crew. But anyway, um, yeah, so so for me, it's like, yo, it's like, sorry, sorry, Dasha, I'm just going. <laughs> just, so we have not planned this totally. She wanted me to plan this, but I didn't, you know, sorry, I apologize. But anyway, but, um, right, going back to the show itself, um, Right, yeah, we complain about it. We need to have more shows like this. And for me, you know, it's knowledge of artists. Did you did you hear about Sean C. Johnson beforehand? Um, not really, to be honest. I didn't know him. I've heard some of his songs, and I just knew the songs, but I didn't know it was him. I didn't know anything about him. Okay, cool, me. cool, 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 cool. Um, so you know, we've um, so what was so was he expecting the artist to be that good? No. <laughs> okay, so that quick, you know, that's quick. So you know, respond to anything. Said, no, shut that down. But no, no. So, so you was really impressed by him. Definitely, I thought it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna be dry, but I didn't think it would be my kind of style. But mm. it was really different. It was really good. There's something about you know. I'll definitely encourage people to make. You know, when people says, "Oh, it's not my style of music and whatever." Listen, quality is quality, and I don't care who you are. If whatever style of music you like. As as famous artist Lecrae said when he came over here one time when I worked with him, he said to me, "Real recognizes real." So if you're a brilliant rapper and you go into a church full of old ladies like this, mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Trust me, they'll appreciate the realness in your life. You know when people fake the style of music and they go to something to make money, yeah? yeah. You like this, fake. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But what I find now is real recognizes real. We need, we need you know, no matter if if that's not your style of music, but for me. Sean is like you know hard artist hard artist you know what I'm saying it's amazing how he's not as big 
as he should be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, 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 you know, that, that, that's that, that's where I'm kind of at, man. We've had this still, you know. So for me, you know, you know, so the show was a was a great show. I don't nine out of ten. You know, looking back at the footage, you know, I, I wouldn't be too far off. I can't call, I can't I can't really. Um, Analyze my own events that, that, that I take part in whatsoever. But we have to big up Zion Promotions for, for, for taking the risk with Sean C. Johnson. And I told him, you know what I'm saying? He says, yo, I've got a vibe. Sean C. Johnson is a respected artist. It might not be the biggest out there, but it's a respected. And to be honest, I've kind of like shied away from... It's all great having the Fred Hammond and as they're, you know what I mean, singing worship songs and doing different things. It's great, yeah? But there's some real people that are really, really cool. And we need to, we need to, we need to kind of like kind of work with them you know what i'm saying that's yeah, that, that that's my heart me like speaking to people about it a lot mm. of people actually know about him it's mm -hmm. quite more people more more people like listen to his music know more about him so i was quite surprised with that all oh, right here's a question out here still yeah and i got a bag of young people that's wa watching me right now still going mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying now the reaction show is now how can i get you guys to listen to quality gospel how can we get you guys exposed to it I would have put you on the spot totally. Oh, me personally, I just think <laughs> I just think it's down to what you're into because if you don't like that style of music, then you don't like it. If you go, know I mean, mm. so it just depends because I quite like this a variety. So this is something I potentially will listen to. It just depends on what you're interested in, to be honest. Okay, so what platforms do you guys kind of would you say listen to music? If you want to listen to the latest, right? In the day, so yeah, it is not in most young people's desire to, to try and find the latest gospel track out there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, how can people like myself get you to listen to quality gospel? Um. Is that pressure? Anyway, <laughs> anybody out there? Any, any ideas, suggestions? Yo, this is live on radio. Everyone's asking, like, going, hmm, how can we do this? Um, everyone says, yo, put it on Spotify, but we had to show is. You know what you're doing on Spotify. So how can we get together? It could be YouTube videos. Everyone's doing that right now. Great websites. There's great websites out there. How can we do this? Yo, guys, I think we've got a problem here because i got pure blank races. <laughs> I'll just ask an ultimate question. Go on. Yeah. Okay, that, okay, definitely. okay, okay. Yo, we had a D1 from the official Demare. Sorry, guys, check him out on um, Instagram, still the official one. But anyway, you know, he shouted out, you know, but the fact that basically we need to play on the platforms that the artists are on. You know what I'm saying? So, well, what everyone else is listening to, you know, so we need to get down, we need to get our artists on them platforms. You know what I'm saying? We need to push there. You know what I'm saying? And I need to get this show on BBC Radio One. <laughs> 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 the live show here with after, after, after. DJ Sloth. <laughs> yeah, Krusty Roger holding down from, from 3, 3 a.m. in the morning to 6 o'clock. <laughs> didn't, didn't a dry hour. <laughs> but now, but that, you know, so for me, it's a case of trying to get people to hear that there's quality gospel. I think that, that that's a great thing. And, you know, there's people that came to the event. I heard, like, you could argue testimonies, but they never really heard this guy before. They're Drake fan. Straight up Drake fan. Love the Drake. And they said afterwards, yo, Sean sees their artist. So it shows that a live performance does amazing things for people. Yeah. So is Sean sees Johnson your favorite artist now? <laughs> the, the, the eyes are set upon me, people. Yo, you need to be watching this stream, man, because I'm just getting pure eye, eye language here. You know what I'm saying? No, I, wouldn't, I do like him. Okay. I wouldn't say he's what, my favorite. All right, now we're going to be going to the Sean C thing in, a, in, in, in literally in about a couple of minutes. Just tell me who your favorite artist is. That's hard. I listen to a lot of. I listen to a variety. <laughs> Alright, who's your favorite gospel artist? If I said, yo, put it out there, the top three. Uh, top three. Um, quite like Hillsong. Do you like Governor B? Okay. Um, probably A Star. Okay, 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 okay. Grimbo, 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 Grimbo <laughs> thing going on still, yeah. So everyone's like in the grand vibe anyway. So, but listen, guys, yeah. Right. Thanks to Darshay for. I totally dumped her in it today. I didn't even warn her. She come up to our project, our affinity, um, and I just said, you know, what? I'm gonna keep it secret and dump her in it, and we're just gonna record a random live show. You know what I'm saying? And and guys, you know what I mean? She has got a professional voice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She don't sound like she's from around here. <laughs> 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 but listen, guys, you know. But guys, just gonna, uh, gonna uh, cue you guys up. You know, this is gonna be the live show here, and I'm gonna be playing. Um, 
it's gonna be we're gonna be running straight through with the whole show. One thing we did do we do at the show, we did a questionnaire, so you can listen to different questionnaires, interactions, it's all being presented by Dana Anderson from The Awakening. And it's gonna be at the show the it was Sean C. Johnson live in Birmingham, but we had to show it it's it's the manifest show where we break things down, it's more pure and it's more intimate and whatever there. So so you should get that vibe. So we're gonna do this exclusive thing where you won't hear Roger's voice for the rest of the show. <sighs> But anyway, so yeah, I'm say <laughs> what a shame. But anyway, so but guys, you know, I just pray that you know that you have a great time and enjoy this year. Well, I'm on my holidays, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, but it's here it goes anyway. Now nah, I'm not actually. Ugh, I'm always working. You check me online. <laughs> but anyway, but um, guys, listen, enjoy the show. God bless you, Roger, and out. And we're gonna flip it straight into this, guys. <laughs> Hi, what's up guys? I'm Dana Anderson and I'm the host of An Evening with Sean C. Johnson and presenter of The Awakening Show. Um, it's very rare that a presenter, well, it's not rare, but sometimes you get the gift of being able to interview somebody that you absolutely, absolutely fans out about. And Sean C. Johnson has to be one of those artists for me. I absolutely love his albums, love his music. And I, if I was to choose a favourite track, I'd say... Mm, probably home um, just love the way I just love the whole track but all of his music full star um, when I sat down and was talking with Roger Moore from GL360 about um, artists and stuff like that and he was talking about thinking oh you know what he said to me Dana I'm, I'm thinking of um, bringing over an artist called Sean C. Johnson I nearly leaped across the table and like knocked him out because <laughs> I was like yes do it so I'm so excited that the day has actually come and I'm actually going to be hosting it too so um, I cannot wait I can't see because the lights are in my eyes, but let me just step here. You can see me. Oh, you can see me. Oh, so many beautiful faces. <laughs> so good to be here with you tonight. I'm Dana, I'm your host for this evening uh, and the presenter of The Awakening Show. And are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you ready? Yeah. A night and a half. A performance and a half. Oh, look, this is dead. <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready for a night and a half? Yeah. Okay, that's more like it. Okay. So we have got some great performances for you tonight. And the one and only Mr. Sean C. Johnson. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, we've got some, uh, some warm-up acts for you. And the first one... Um, First group are Birmingham born and bred. Yep. In fact, who's in the house tonight? Okay. So, uh, Manchester, you in the room? Was that one person? <laughs> Was that one person? Um, London, are you in the room? <laughs> uh, Nottingham, are you in the room? Okay, no, no, not a representing. Um, oh. Birmingham, are you in the room? <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Yes! Okay, okay. Um, all right, so please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Birmingham Born and Bred, bred sorry, group, AT Tug! We're right. It's crazy to see perspective on life. Good evening, now. good evening, when ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, right now, I see it's a pleasure to be here. Of violence. I see carriages running, but they move in silence. And we get heated, but love You know, for all the years I've been performing, I'm always the longest to get on stage because I've always got a plug in guitar or there's always something that I've got to shift. So please bear with me. Yes. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we are AT Thai. For those of you who call us Atty, um, and all other kind of names. AT Thai just stands for all things through Yeshua. We do all things through Christ who strengthens us, right? Ah, some of that, some of that, some of that. Yes, 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 yes. Some of that. Okay. Salt me. Mm. <laughs> So usually there is um, another member with us. For those of you who know Davinia, she's out on tour at the moment. So we give God thanks for her. Um, yeah, tour life, tour life, tour life. So we've got Chris with us playing the um, Kohan, Mr. Chris Russell. 
To my left, I have the lovely Leone Rowe. Can we get some love for her? And to my right, I have my beautiful right-hand lady, who is my wife, Miss Jackie Amos. Okay, and we're just gonna entertain you a little bit. Um, the first one I want you to really listen to. The second one we also want you to listen to, but we also want you to groove to, okay? So there'll be a real little moment for you guys. Let me just make sure I'm in tune. Everybody hear that at the back, yeah? Ladies, wanna test your mics? Oh, can we get some more Leone, please? Can we get a lip ball, Leone, please? Come on, Leone, come through, lady, come through. It's a little, it's a little better. We'll make do with that. Okay, then, cool. So this first track is called "The Message." I got a message for you. It's of the utmost importance I'm bringing good news So put on your shoes And won't you come take a walk with me Into this world of sin This wicked world we're in To be the light in the darkness I am the truth So what can I do? I cannot move I need you, oh, I need you. 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 So what's it gonna be? No, no, don't you want to be yeah. more than friends? Hold me tight and don't let go. Don't let go. I got the right to lose control. Don't let go. So what's it gonna be? Cause I Okay, cool, so that's the mellow stuff out of the way. That's the introduction. This track is a track that we're looking to release soon, shortly. Um, anybody ever had some trials in their life? Silly question. Yeah. yeah? Anybody going through trials right now? Yeah. Silly question, everybody. This is the truth. Anybody ever known that they're on the road to Damascus? Huh? Oh, am I getting too biblical now, huh? This track is called Damascus. The hashtag um, track to it is called Runaway. You'll get the picture when we start running. Let's roll.
I'm on the road now. I'm on my way to seek a new abode now. I'm doing what I've been told now. Still seem to feel I'm carrying a heavy load now. I gotta be bold now. If I'm ever gonna seek a part of gold now. I'm reaping what I sow now. Show me the curve, it's getting old now. What do you want from me? Problem is I can't locate the source now I see the bright light Now something really strange has happened to my eyesight I got to get my mind right So I can come up to a nice night What do you want from me? Listen, I'm getting sick and tired of being sick and tired of walking up and down this tire What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend Sometimes I feel like I got to run away I know 
you are God. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. We've been AT Ty. Enjoy the rest of your night. God bless you all. Yes. Amen. Can we give a uh, round of applause to AT Ty, please? I love that. I love that. So I forgot to make sure you do that. Okay. So you ready for another one? Me too. <laughs> okay, so our next performer comes all the way from the big city of London. Um, she's Brixton, born and bred, and she's told me some very interesting things tonight. She's here to perform a few tracks from her uh, recent EP. Give it up for Shantae! <laughs> How are you? Wait, wait, you wanna? Make some noise for H, though. Yeah. Hey, shut up. In it? H is sick, you know. I only met him a couple like last month. He's actually, he's actually really sick. Um, my, um, my name's Shante. I am 26. I'm from London. I'm from South London. Jesus is really awesome. I love chicken. Um, what else is really good? Um, the sun when it comes out was really good. The sun wasn't out today, so I was really upset. I think that's Birmingham's fault. But you guys have been really nice and joking. Um, so I'm going to do two songs. I put out an EP in June. Um, it's the second one. It's called Conversations with God. If you have an iPhone, you should get it. If you have an Android, you should get it. If you have a Nokia, don't get it, because I don't know if you're able to download it and stuff. <laughs> but you should get it. There's six tracks on it. I'm going to do one for you, and then like, I'll do another one, if that's all right. Um, I don't know why I'm sitting down like I've got like, acoustic numbers, and I'm going to stand up. That's the wrong one. Yes. No, I'm joking. It was the right one. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. The song requires some crowd participation, so you are allowed to kick your fingers on the two and the four, because that's where the correct timing is. I remember the time when mum used to wake me up. Had to iron out my clothes before I took out my lunch uniform. Lay down, had to go and get dressed, put a four shirt and tie, then I go brush my headpiece. A mind is what I had from a very young age. Won't look at no jobs on my minimum wage. I never had no stress, nothing could get in my way. I was just a kid, just like my mum used to say. I'm just trying to find a time that I can remember when things are all so easy. I think there's so much better But now I'm trying to find the time To live my life and get by And if you feel me, let me hear you say I Say I Say I I remember the time when I got my scooter for Christmas with the black hand bars, we were all silver rims, yes. And then I took the thing to the park and I rode up and down the hill from nine till dark, oh, yeah. yeah. And then I got back on the pavement and my back will popped off, so I fell on my oh, face, then. Yeah. yeah, I may have cried for my while, but God oh, bless, no check, cause I was just a child, yeah. Hey. But now I'm just getting older and the days no longer and the nights grow colder. Work, 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 say no time to play games, I ain't touched my Xbox 360 in Hey, I swear I'm losing concentration, got both of my controllers to work with my PlayStation. But yeah, there's no rest for the wicked less time, just to kick in more work. I'm just trying to find the time hey, that I can remember, but things are all so easy, I think there's so much better. But now I'm trying to find the time To live my life and get by I don't care for me, let me keep you say I Say I, I, I Say I, I, I I had a 
right to set a Pokemon card But I still never got that shiny Charizard I went to release, saved up all my piece so I could buy them I never ever got a pack that them shinies reside in Not causing all that mayhem at Southam's College We argued we're very cheated but we're still full with promise Getting the highest grades but probably had the most smile These are the times that I'm talking about like Sega Mega Drive with my brother We lived up there, do make harvest tickets Political playing hide and seek with my cousins Days in Rockwell, these dreams you can't tell You can hold this to me while them talk about yeah. Hey, running riot with Vanessa Ravelli And after all the drama we just sit and watch the telly Those are memories I'll have for the rest of my life I swear to never forget cause I'm just trying to find time Hey, that I can remember But things are all so easy And things are so much better But now I'm trying to find time To live my life and get by Sweet. So, um, so that was that was that was from London, because everyone's been sending for London today, and I'm like, no, watch, watch, watch. I'm joking. Um, so that song's called Say I. That's on my first EP called Life and Sound. Get it? Like, don't buy more leaves. Don't buy. What, what chicken shop do you have in Birmingham? What's your bait chicken shop? Yeah, don't go Dixie's. Buy the EP because it's like probably the same amount as like two piece chicken and chips and stuff. So get that. Um, it's nasty. Yeah, don't buy it then. Just buy the EP. It's cool. Um, I got one more song for you. Um, it's called... You'll get it. Um, it's on the new EP called Conversations with God. So get that. If you like it, then come find me. Just sit here wasting time Make the most of what you've got Don't be foolish, yeah, yeah It may not seem like it right now But believe you've got a lot Don't be foolish, yeah, yeah Don't just sit here wasting time Make the most of what you've got Don't be foolish, oh Sometimes it's hard, I'm feeling overwhelmed I look around at my surroundings and I doubt myself Am I gifted? Am I even working hard enough? I'm running up these hills while these dons are strolling in the park And I know comparison's a thief of joy So I try not to look at others, but it's hard, boy It's like everyone gets the shot and I ain't been discovered Circulating circuits, yet these words are hidden under covers Tired of it, so many people being given props that they aren't due But then I'm looking at myself like, Shante, who are you? Humble yourself and give them songs that only you can bring And God reminds me that nobody owes me anything I owe it all to him and that's gospel No other God but him, now that's gospel Sometimes I feel like throwing in the towel But then God taps me on my shoulder to remind me Don't be foolish, yeah Don't just sit here wasting time No, 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 no Don't be foolish, no, 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 So you've been whining and complaining, yeah, he's heard about it. All the tears and perseverance, yeah, he's heard about it. 
So you've been given talent, what you gonna do about it? Tell them I'm not gonna hide them, I'm gonna be about it. I think it's time I start asking for help because no woman is an island and I cannot do this by myself. I'm learning to depend upon the one that God sent. And some more time in his presence is some more time we'll spend. It's time to make room so no room forever. And I know as long as I live, there's time to get better and better. And I know as long as God brings the us to God is grace. And if there's grace, well then the sun sits in his rightful place. I owe it all to him and that's gospel. No other God but him, no, that's gospel. Sometimes I feel like throwing in the towel, but then God taps me on my shoulder to remind me, don't be. Foolish, no, no, no. Don't you see the time? Make the most of all you've got. It don't be, don't be, don't be foolish. Yeah, yeah. It don't seem like it right now. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be, don't be foolish. No. Don't you sit here wasting time? Make the most of all you've got. change my ways I'm gonna run this race oh, 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 oh. I know from today that I'm gonna change my ways I'm gonna run this race my name is Shante it's lovely to meet you take care of yourself Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, wow. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. I enjoyed that. Too. Hey. I enjoyed that. Um, you and I were talking earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we were having a girl chat. Girl chat. <laughs> um, and, you know, you are amazing. So Thank you me. are the choir director, aren't you? Of, yeah. Of, tell us about, tell them about that. Okay, so I um, co-direct a choir called ADMC. We're based in London, like founding New, Te oh, New Testament Church of God, Brixton. Um, so I joined that when I was like 12 and I'm a lot older now, but I conduct it. So if you see any videos of a girl with an Afro going like that, that's me. Um, and yeah, it's a great family to be in. It's a great family. Yeah. So you're on tour at the moment. Yeah, I think, well, well, yeah. Well, you're doing the show on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and like, how, have you been to Birmingham before? Yeah, I got family in Birmingham. You got, oh, you got fa oh, she's got family in Birmingham? Yeah, not loads of them, so it's not a gas thing. But. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to get gas. Okay, um, but the EP, tell us, tell us about what's coming out and when's it coming out. Ooh. Just to remind them. Okay, so my first EP came out last year, June. My second EP came out June just gone. Um, I have a project coming out next. I should say June, but I feel like the spirit of the Lord is telling me September. So um, <laughs> next September, I will drop something bigger than an EP, but I, I can't drop it until you buy the first two because I feel like that would help me to make the new one. Do you know what I mean? Because like yeah. monies and stuff. If you Only if you liked it. But yeah, um, September next year, I'm going to drop something okay so september next year and you can get the other one what's the other one called life and sound was the first one right. conversations with god is the second one Conversa and that's what we were talking about conversations with god yeah what inspired that where did that title come from um there was a point when i was just going through a load of stuff and um i in order to stop myself from going crazy i just have out loud conversations with god sometimes um, because I need to take care of my mental state. Everyone needs to take care of their mental state. It's not just a thing that you push to one side and you allow like your mind to be taken over. Enemies playing tricks, like it's all doing like Ronaldinho things with your brain. So you need to really sort it out. Um, so I started to just out loud vocalize stuff. And then if I was having times where I was having like extreme problems with just communication or just like voices of like feeling like nothing, I would start to just worship in my room and some of that stuff was voice recorded and two of the songs on the last EP were literally voice recordings from me singing in my room that turned into two songs. songs. Amazing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
Well, we were completely, totally blessed by you tonight. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, you and you're going to be at the show on, in London on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So it, um, if you go into the show on Saturday again for some reason, then you will see Shante again. Yeah. But for now, we've not seen you enough. But yeah. We'll see you later. <laughs> um, can we give her one more big hand, up, please? Thank you. God bless you. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So he has come to see us all the way from the US ahead of his show in London on Saturday to come and join us and bless us with some of the tracks that we all love so much. So I need you to stamp your feet for me. I need you to clap your hands for me. And I need you to give me a big shout for Mr. Sean C. Johnson. Yo, yo. Birmingham, what up? Yeah. Yo, I don't think y'all realize how excited I am to be here, man. Oh my God, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for showing up. Thank y'all for supporting. Um, real quick, I need everybody to put three fingers in the air like this. Three fingers in the air. Three things about me. Number one, I love God. Amen. Number two, I love food. Amen. Amen. And number three, I love Netflix. <laughs> By show of hands, who has a Netflix account? Anybody in here got a Netflix account? Can I have your password? No. You won't even know I'm on there. That's hilarious. All right, yo, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this, man. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's get it. Turn it up. Sure. Hands like this. Now everybody put your hands like this. Now everybody put your hands. Yeah. Your hands. Yeah. Your hands. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 what's it gonna be? Left for the right man. Living in between. Now you know it ain't right, man. I refuse to lose. Go down fighting, I'ma speak truth, I don't care if you like it, feel me? One hand like this, now everybody just bounce, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I see y'all Birmingham, hey, it's a real simple song. It says please don't pass me by, oh please don't pass me by, I said please don't pass me by, hey, oh please don't. Listen, and it seems I've been sick so long And you can make me whole, yes sir Can you hear me? I ain't playing no more I'm through running, gotta answer the door Yeah, yeah, yeah I've had enough pain Look at my face, so much shame Calling your name Hands like this, 
time I look around this pain day. Hard to admit I'm broke, trying to save face. Everybody moving up, I'm in the same place. When did all of this turn into a rat race? I don't sound like him, I don't sound like her. I don't run like this, I don't run like that. I'm just trying to get back to the place where I hear your voice saying, leave out all the distractions. Do it for your boy, I'm asking. Show me what I'm lacking. And if you really don't mind, never leave my side. Oh, 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 oh. Can you still use me? One more time, Birmingham. One, two, three, and ten strokes. Don't pass me by. Yeah. Oh, please don't pass me by. I said, please don't pass me by. Oh, please don't. Pass me by, I said please don't pass me by. Hey, a oh, please don't pass me by. I said please don't pass me by. A oh, please don't. Me, I sing that. Say please. Give it up for yourselves, Birmingham. Yeah. All right. So this next song is dedicated to every girl who has ever friend zoned me. Real talk, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I hope your edges disappear. Now, nah, for real, for real. I just hope you wake up one day and they just gone, like for real. They just gone. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Hey. Chip. Chip. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, said fall in love with me. I know it's only five words. I'm just trying to see if I can make this thing work. I'll be honest, love. It's been hard out here for me. Every time I open up, seems to end in heartbreak. Oh my God, here we go again. Thought I'd be more, but I'm still a friend. MVP of the friend song. So just don't follow me on Instagram. I'm probably talking about you. I can admit that I'm not okay, and I need the Lord to save me. Always, 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 always
more than I can bear. I need you to save me. Won't you save me? Yeah. Please don't keep me in this place for long. Come see about me. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, yeah. 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 Said fall in love with me. No one saw me five words. I'm just trying to see if I can make this thing work. I'll be honest, love. Yeah. I'll be honest, love. I'm just trying to see if I can make this thing work. I'll be honest, love. I'll be honest, love. Yeah. 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 Can we have another round of applause? Please. Wow. You made it. I did. I made you it, got yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be here in the U.S.? Have you, is this the first time you've been here? This is not the first time I was here. Um, well, to Birmingham, yes. But okay. to the U.K. I was back here in 2012 um, okay. in London. I came for an event. And um, I've, been, I've been itching to get back here. Oh, really? really? Yeah, I've been, love, I've been waiting to get back here. So this is a blessing for me. This is surreal. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. So this is the first time you've been in Birmingham? Yes. And what are your thoughts so far? I love it, man. Y'all good it. peoples, man. Yeah. Give it up for yourselves, man. Yeah. Give, it <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. Yeah. And you're all the way from Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, man. Oklahoma middle City. Middle of the country out there, man. Where, look, yeah. where is that? Is that middle? It's right above Texas. Oh, OK. Do y'all know what Texas is? All right, yeah. we right above it. So yeah, okay. right above it. But that's not originally where you're from, is it? Not at all. No, I was born in Tampa, Florida. Um, I'm an army brat, so I'm from everywhere and nowhere. Um, so we moved around a lot. Lived in Germany, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indianapolis, Philadelphia. I'm leaving out something. Um, yeah, so all over Basically, the place. Everywhere, yeah, everywhere. All over the So place. was it your dad or your mom in the My army? My dad. My your dad, dad was in the okay. army, yeah. Your dad was in the army. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how did that affect you in terms of... Because you write a lot... Your songs are about relationships and not just relationships with God, but as we can hear, um, save me. And Listen, the friend zone is a very dark place. <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is a horrible what, place. What, what? A Tell horrible us about the place. friend zone. Like, it's a horrible place. So basically, the friend zone is what happens when you find somebody that, you are, um, that you're compatible with mm -hmm. that, for all intents and purposes, will make a perfect mate. But instead, you decide to make them a friend. You're a horrible person, all right? <laughs> You're a horrible now, person. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. Why, why? So if they're so compatible, why would you make them a friend? Why? I didn't do it. They did it to oh, me. Oh, they did yeah. it to you? Did okay. To yeah. That explains, yeah, the edges yeah. and all that. I okay, got right, I get it. Yeah. Okay. You got friends. Like, this happened more than once? It did. I was going to say, because you don't write a song from like... I, it did. This, okay. It hurts, so, too. It hurts. It hurts. Are you over it now? Are we uh, cool? I'm working through it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm writing a project. Okay. All about it. So all about the friend all zone. All about the friend zone. So we can expect yeah. some new good music. Yes. <laughs> I think a lot of times, like as as Christians, we don't really talk about what happens when it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Like, so I want to create a project that really talks about all those raw and real emotions that that happens when it doesn't work out. So yeah. Yeah. So, now yeah, you're. Uh, am I right in saying you're single? I am. Okay, okay. And uh, you're, um, I suppose, looking? <laughs> yes, I am definitely looking. Yes. You are definitely looking. I am looking. Okay, so we have a single, single man of God in the room with a soulful voice. And uh, I'm sure, have we got any single ladies in the room? Yeah. Okay, nobody's claiming Nobody, that. no single ladies? <laughs> no. It's all good. Friend zone again, okay. <laughs> I'm out here shooting my shot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's coming back. Okay. All right. Now, um, 
let's talk about your music. I'm sorry. Uh, let's talk. We've met already, so it's yeah. okay. Um, so let's talk about your music. So yes. you got into music at a, at a young age, is that Very right? Young age, yes. I grew up in the church by God's grace. I stayed in the church. Uh, my mom, she um, she was a music um, teacher. And she okay. taught, she, um, she directed the choir also at the church. So um, my life from, from the time I was born um, until I left home was filled with God and music. Okay. Um, so it's, it's been the two constants in my life. The two. Now, how did that kind of shape you growing up? Like, Man, um, growing up in the choir or growing up singing in the choir, um, it taught me to, to, um, to practice my craft, to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and also just having God in my life, um, being able to stick out. Like I gave my life to Christ when I was 11 years old. Okay. Um, and it was right after my mom passed. Right. Um, and that was, that was the catalyst that really just pushed me to have a relationship, a personal relationship with Christ for myself. Because up until that point, I'd just been, been taking the church and been dragged on my own. But at that point, when my mom passed, it made me aware of my own mortality. And I was like, all right, I'm going to die one day. I need to do something about that. I need to, I need to know where I'm going to go when this is all over. Um, so that was the catalyst that kind of started the ball rolling on that. And how did God become, or Christ become real, more real to you? Like, what, what were some of the things that you experienced during that period of time? Yeah, um, shout out to my parents, um, to, my, to my dad, and then my stepmom after that, and then my grandparents also. Um, they taught me the power of prayer. And just at a young age, I was able to see answered prayers. And that, that really did wonders for my faith. I was like, God is real. Yeah. Like, at a young age, I knew that no matter what, he was real. And those prayers that he answered, nobody could take that away from me. Yeah, yeah. So whenever anything came, came about, like, I was like, no, he did that. Yeah. He's real. So, I mean, that was, that was how it became real for me. That's how it became real. Um, so, you, so it became real, and you started pursuing music on a, a more serious... Did you know that that was the only thing you wanted to do, or did you have some I wanted to play interest? in the NBA, actually. Really? But I stopped growing at... <laughs> I'm only 5'9 and 3 fourths. Five nine and three fourths. Three, so four. basically five ten. <laughs> basically five ten with shoes on. So, uh, <laughs> but no, I okay. I wanted to play in the NBA. But right. music, I always had. We was in groups with my cousins and stuff like that. Yeah. We had horrible names. I don't even remember half of them. Give us but, one of them. Give us one. <laughs> it's gonna sound so whack. Um, Fresh DC. Don't even ask me what that stood for what? at the time. It Pre sounded real dope. Press. Fresh. Fresh. Oh, fresh. Fresh. Yeah. DC. Fresh DC. What's the DC? Something for? dominating control. Something. I don't even remember. It was, it's like 93 or something. I don't know. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Okay, we'll move on. Um, <laughs> I told you it was going to be We'll move on from that. Uh, so, yeah, it's not fresh. Um, <laughs> like, so, Sorry. Right, I'm joking. Um, okay, so, yeah, so that never worked out. So you went uh, on your own. You went off on your own. Like, stop! I went, I went solo. <laughs> okay, you went solo. Went solo and we're, we're grateful, don't we? Because I don't know if we would be here for Fresh DC. <laughs> like, you know. So, okay. So you went solo. And what was the first um, release? Um, it came out in 2006. Simply a Vessel was the first Simply album. You can... <laughs> If you go to my, the only place you can find it is on my website somewhere. So it's, there's, no. No, there's no hard copies of it anywhere. So. I have a copy. I have a copy. Um, okay, so tonight you're going to be entertaining us with some past, present, future? Um, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay. But um, we've got something coming up now. So the song that you're about to sing next, I know everyone's going to know. So I'm not going to announce it. But tell us the inspiration behind it. Um... <laughs> I shared three things about me earlier, so this is, not, this is another one about me. I really love ratchet music. I think y'all know what trap... <laughs> I was, thank weed. you. Our trap music, y'all know what that is? Trap music, okay. I don't know, it's, it's delicious. I don't know what it is about it, but I really love it. And there was a song that came out a couple years ago named, called No Flex Zone. Yeah. Anybody heard that? Yeah. So being the artist that I am, I decided to take it, flip it, remix it, and make it safe for the whole family. So safe for the family. Make it safe, yeah, for the whole family. Thank you. Thank so. you for thinking about the family. You're welcome. You're welcome. So you're gonna sing that for us now, yes, aren't you? Yes, I am. So I'm gonna get out of your way. Yeah. Um, and can we uh, get the vibe up? Can we give him another round of applause, please? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Actually, hold on, hold on for a sec. I need everybody to raise their right hand real quick and repeat after me. Say I. I. State your name. Will not body roll when this beat drops. All right, it's on y'all now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, oh. Hey, 
yeah, 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 yeah. I've been working these three jobs for so long. Trying to pay my rent, keep the lights on. Fading numbers on the bathroom stall. I hate this place, but anyway, so I've been slaving all day, yeah. Still in the days. Still some work for me to do. I think it's time for job two. I step outside and see the me boys rolling. Sudden with an ego swollen on the radio. I hear no flex zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. They know better. They know better. They know better. On the radio. No flex zone. I hear no flex zone. Too far, I don't want to turn back now. Furthermore, I don't want to see the pain. Uh, nothing else to talk about. Cause I've been slaving all day. Yeah, still in the days. Still some work for me to do. I think it's time for job two. I step outside and see the B boys rolling. Stunting with their ego. Swollen on the radio. I hear no flex. Zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. They know better. They know better. On the radio. No flex zone. I no flex zone. They know better. No flex zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. They know better. No flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. Seven chains on, east side looking like a slave on. Can't find money for the cell phone, but still want a front for the video. Can't you hear him knocking? Hoping up that I'm in. I turn on the radio. I hear no flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. They know better. On the radio. I hear. Zone. They know, they know better. No flex zone, no flex zone. They know better, they know better. No flex zone, no flex zone. They know better. They know better. They know better. No flex. No flex. They know better. They know better. No flex zone. No flex zone. They know better. They know better. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, man, I grew up in the church. By God's grace, I stayed in the church. And the church I grew up in, they didn't really let us dance. So, don't get it twisted, like I got rhythm, but I don't really know a lot of dances. I got like two dances. One of them is the Millie Rock. I'm the best. All right, the second one. <laughs> Second one is a church rock, all right? And then y'all know what that is? He yes, goes just like this. Right there in the pocket, just like that. Right there with it. All day. All right, so I need y'all help. If y'all if don't mind standing to your feet, we're going to church rock together, all right? Let's get it. Yeah. On me. I said some days I'm so deep in All the days I'm so convicted I run from you But there's 
Y'all energy, man. So much more than take away the pain. Give me a minute while I make it real plain. One touch and you will never be the same. Tell me who can turn water into wine. No one can. Hey, thank what he did to you. Hear what I'm saying? There's no need for comparing, no. Yeah, tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's the Lord God, strong and mighty. Yeah, tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Forever and ever he reigns. So turn this microphone up and we gon' praise him because he first loved us. Nobody else, I'm gonna sing it till I'm dust and lift this name, but I can never do enough now. Nah. Nobody else can ever bear the load. The burden of my sin is untold. Yeah, you made the sacrifice, gave me eternal life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said it might call you out when it falls like rain in the midst of a drought. Said, who's the God we serve? 
but that's what we call praise. No one could take your place. Patient me, I'll wait till I see your face. Hey, yeah, tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's the Lord God strong and mighty. Tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Forever and ever he reigns. Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah. Can you hear my humble cry? Oh, Jesus. Said I can't live without you, no. Oh, Jesus. Can't you hear me calling? Yeah, yeah. Tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the Lord God strong and mighty. Oh, oh. Tell me who is like the Lord. Yeah. Oh, forever and ever and ever he reigns. Hey, hey, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That last bit, just just that last bit, acapella. Tell me, tell me who is like. <laughs> tell me who is like the Lord. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He's the Lord God, strong and mighty. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Sean. Get him, don't get him, Sean. Come on, Sean. Don't get him, Sean. We're doing this, Sean. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Oh, that was brilliant. Are you enjoying yourselves? I don't even feel like I'm at work. Like, this is so much like, this is a dream come true. Like, okay, so, loved it, loved it. Now, before I disappeared the first time, you said that you love ratchet music. Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, well, we all have our biases. Um, <laughs> um, but no, seriously, what, ha apart, like, what are your musical influences? Because you're very yeah. neo soulish. Mm -hmm. Um, so where, where, where do your musical influences come from? Um, so, like I said, I grew up in the church, so um, of course there was the Winans, um, Commission, um, oh, yeah. Clark Sisters, um, and then Kurt Franklin, of course. Um, and then outside of that, um, it, it became artists like um, D'Angelo, um, Anthony Hamilton, John Legend, um, who else? Um, Jay Diller um, is another one. Um, and even um, Dr. Dre, believe it or not. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, um, Dr. Dre, who else? Um, Common, um, Talib Kweli, um, Tribe Called Quest, a lot of those artists. Tribe Called Quest. Yeah. Wow. That's like one of my favorite bands. Sure. Um, okay, so, so those are your, some of your musical influences. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the, the idea of secular crossing with okay. gospel? Um, yeah. And is gospel a genre to you, or is it just, do you just sing? Like, what, what, how Man, do you I, think I don't, about I don't it? run away from that title uh, of being a gospel artist. Um, there was an artist, um, I don't know if y'all familiar with Show Baraka. Yeah. Okay, so he had a quote a couple years back where he was saying, as Christians, when it comes to the arts, we can approach it in two different ways. We can talk about the light, which is Christ, of course, or we can talk about what the light allows us to see. Um, and I kind of, I kind of, I'm right in the middle there. Um, so a lot of artists, they talk about um, Christ and it's, it's the gospel. They're talking about this message. And, but other artists, they talk about how they see the world and how they view different things as a Christian how the light allows them to see the world. Um, and there's different artists, like Molly Music, he's kind of more leaning towards that lane. Um, even Lecrae now, he's kind of yeah. leaning more towards that lane Yeah, because he's, like, you see, like, I think it's Lecrae, actually, who's yeah. um, teamed up recently with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Who, there's some controversy around because he talks about God a lot, um, but obviously his yeah. music is, you know. No, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, as Christians, we, we can't, um, nobody has sin through osmosis. Like, um, I don't know if it's anybody, y'all know what osmosis is, right? <laughs> so basically when you touch something, it, it seeps into you. So like just being associated with something doesn't mean that you're sinning necessarily, um, even if you're just near it. So I think 
in order to be in these people's lives and to have influence, we have to be in their lives. Like we have to associate and be around these people um, and be a light. Like in here where there's so much light, doesn't do us any good. But if you go into a dark place and you're the light, yeah. You're going to show out. You're going to be able to stick out a little bit. So I think that's that's what um, a lot of these artists who are leaning more towards what yeah. showing what the light allows them to see. Now, I mean, that tends to happen as they grow. They get bigger and more well-known. Um, yeah. You know, Mally's brought out a, a, an album who, that's... I don't know if you could define it as gospel, but, like, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and you're growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, recently. So has anyone watched... Um, I've got any Netflix fans here. Greenleaf. Greenleaf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Greenleaf. Greenleaf. Yeah. Greenleaf. Greenleaf. I wasn't yeah. personally on there, yeah, but one of, no, my, one of my songs was so on there. So I yeah. was, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Greenleaf. Greenleaf is corrupt, by the way. But anyway. <laughs> it is corrupt. Um, That's funny. No, but I'm, I, there I am watching Greenleaf and yeah. then one of the artists. And I did say this earlier. I don't, do you think they did it justice? No. No, <laughs> me neither. Sorry, um, it's all good. Yeah, but there's your song. Yeah. Did you know about this? I had no idea, actually. So how did you I find out? Even, here's the thing. I didn't even know that show existed until that happened. Um, I, I mean, I, I have Netflix, but I don't have, I don't have cable. I got rid of cable. I just have the internet and I watch illegal movies online. So, um... <laughs> scratch, right, right, scratch, right. <laughs> scratch that from so, the table, please. <laughs> but, um... No, somebody hit me up on Facebook. It's like, yo, they're singing your song on Greenleaf. I said, what is Greenleaf? And why is my song on there? Um, but it was like, yo, so they, they showed me the clip. And I was like, wow, that's my song. So I hit up my publishing company. I was like, yo, what's, what's going on? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We solicited your music to different people. And they selected your song to, to redo it. I was like, all right, cut the check. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cut the check. Um, yeah, cut the check. Cut the check. Yeah, as, as long as the check's cut, it's all good. Do, have you started watching it since? Um, I have. I went back and watched season one on Netflix. So what yeah. do you think? It's good. I mean, it's... it's... Is it real? <laughs> Do you think Green yes. Leaf is real? Yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does. It yeah. does, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Like, we're, we're human. And I think a lot of people forget that. And we forget that the church is a hospital. Um, and you can't get mad when there's sick people in the hospital. So yeah. that's the way I look at it. Very true, very true. Now, I do believe we've got a very special lady in the house tonight. Um, by the name of Maria. Hey. She's coming. Okay. Let me just get out of the way. Woo. I love it. I love it. All, I, all, all I've said. Okay. Maria. Maria. Come and take a seat, Queen. Sit down, girl. Yes, girl. Okay. Now. You're... Did you bring all these people with you? <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, Maria. And Mariah Lee Maria. 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 Is it Maria or Mariah? Mar Mariah. Oh, sorry. For those of you that don't know Mariah, it's her birthday today. Hey. Was it this week? Okay, I'm wrong again. It's this week. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> we, were, we were very concerned about this. We figured that you've come all the way from Wolverhampton. So we said she can't come all the way from Wolverhampton oh, wow. and you not show her some love. Okay, I got her. So I'm going to step out of the way now. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Mariah, happy birthday to you. Yes! 
Okay. Nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. And you'll never fail me, so I'll put my trust in you. Even when the road gets lonely, you're always there for me. And you'll never fail me, so I put my trust in you. Nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. You'll never fail me, so I put my trust in you. Even when the road gets lonely, you're always there for me. And you'll never fail me, so I put my trust in you. You. Incredible, that man. Was a, I thought you were gonna sing together. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I, was I was gonna catch it on the next go around. <laughs> I was expecting a duet. Okay. Um, wow. Awesome. Beautiful voice. Incredible. Incredible. Man. Wow. You weren't Real expecting talk, yeah. that. <laughs> okay. So. Excellent. You've got some more for us, haven't you? Yes. I so do. this next song. Tell us about it. Um, are, th are there any couples in the house? Any married couples? Are any just people dating? Anybody? Anybody? Almost married? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Put a ring on it. I love it. He, he put a ring on it. He put a ring on he it. He put a ring on it. Shout out to you. Um, forget all y'all, because I'm not in love, so. Trick all y'all. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But no, this, this, this is too this, deep. I'm not this, ready for this. This next song is dedicated to y'all, man. So. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me get out of the no, way. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Look at what we made. Always been my dream to fall in love Not like they show on the movie screen That love's a corrupted fantasy Only built to serve my selfish needs Can we go back to the way love was intended to be? Look at what we made of love So off track Can we open our eyes to see When I say I love you When I say I love you I mean that thing with all my heart yeah, I love you So patient, so kind Willing to give Even if it's not return It does not boast, it's not proud, no Never give thanks And endures until the end of time So when I say I love you Know that I love you for real Say I love you When I say I love you I mean that thing with all my heart Yeah, yeah I love you, yeah When I say I love you 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 
Say so that again. When I say I love you. 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 I mean that thing with all my heart. I'm off, I turn up a little bit. Mirror on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hand in the air, here we go. One, two, three, four. Hush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Never got a girl past third base. Never wore a suit to a court case. I was never in the kitchen whooping that pace. But I had told my sipping OJ. Broke a few hearts over first base. Looked the other way for a court case. Talked to my mama way too much space. I was never in the streets with the killers. But you never want to test what you feel us. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> For the mirror, aim for the mirror, aim for the main for the mirror. I know, mirror, pray that you hear us. Cause if you wanna kill us, aim for the aim for the mirror, mirror. I wake up every morning by the third crow. Somebody trying to tell me how my life go. But I don't wanna trip, so I move slow. Can't see with the beam in my eye though. Yup, plans to the wicked. Who said bigger boy blind? I'm forgiven. Can't waste time with the life I'm living, so I spend my time looking in that. Who am I to ever judge? Oh, who am I to ever judge you? Who am I to ever judge? When I look in the mirror, look in the mirror, I see me. Me, yeah, I see me, yeah, yeah, I see me, yeah, 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 yeah. Who am I to ever judge? Yeah. Who am I to ever judge you? Who am I to ever judge when I look in the mirror? Look in the mirror, I see me. Yeah. Um, so, oh boy. So, as we mentioned earlier, your, a lot of your songs about relationships, etc. Now, I was doing some research mm -hmm. and I found it quite interesting because you, um, as I said, we're single. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you're waiting, aren't you? Yes, I am 35 years old and I am a virgin. Don't, don't clap, pray for me, all right? No, this is, it's real out here, man. It's real, it's real. 
I don't need your applause. That's not, that's not what you were expecting him to say. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, thank you. He said, hold on. Thank hold you. on. Hold thank on. You. These two are making me laugh so much. Um, 35. Okay. So, yes. So, okay, you said it now. So we can go there. Okay. Yeah. So open forum. So you're a virgin. I am. Um, amen. <laughs> yeah. And the question I said to you earlier was, uh, <clears throat> yeah, how? <laughs> um, the grace of God, number okay. one. And then also just having um, accountability in my life. Having people in my life who weren't afraid to get in my business. Be like, hey, what are you doing? Where are you at? And who are you with? Um, that's been um, instrumental. That's been big in, in keeping me um, yeah. to this point. So, yeah. how, how hard is it? I mean, you, you're obviously on a stage. You're on a platform now. Um, you know, you're, not, you're Sean, yeah. I'm sure, to your friends and family, but to um, audiences like this, you're Sean C. Johnson. How easy or hard is it to be able to differentiate um, mm. who's coming at you and why they're coming at you? Yeah, um, through prayer, um, that's the biggest thing, asking God to like show me who this person really is. Um, and he's been faithful in doing that um, and showing me who, who people really are. Um, and then also having um, people in my life who are able to vet people. Um, people yeah. have people in my life that really do love me and they really want the best for me. Mm. Um, and they're 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 able, they're there to to block anything that may not you know be of God or yeah. anything like that. No, I mean we were talking earlier, and mm -hmm. you know I was uh, I, when I knew that you were coming. Me and my friend were like, we're like, oh my gosh, someone's coming. <laughs> yeah. You know, as we girls do. Um, we don't talk like that really. But... <laughs> Anyway, um, and um, she was like, I was like, yeah, you know, he's single. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, that's the other conversation we have. Um, <laughs> yeah, no pressure. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, it's not going to happen. And uh, I was like, oh, why? Like, not for me. Like, this is no, tricky yeah, No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but um, I was basically asking her, like, why? And she oh, was wow. like, she said to me, because he's looking for a certain type of woman yeah yeah a woman who <laughs> is like you yeah i'm looking for another unicorn out here a <laughs> unicorn uh, tell us about that no um that is my heart's desire um okay. because i have waited i would i would prefer to to marry a virgin but that is not the end all be all i am i am realistic and i'm also um aware of my own sin in my own life and there are areas that i need to grow in and i know that um just because i haven't sinned like somebody else doesn't make me any better than somebody else um but that is a heart's desire um mm -hmm. that is something i take to the lord but I'm, i don't immediately just dismiss somebody because they're they're not a virgin so. i mean you're around you must be around your guy friends and stuff like that like and the conversation i can only imagine what goes on in the men's locker rooms <laughs> and the conversations we, we had bible study that's we what we're doing in there <laughs> What you talking about? That's what we're doing in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> you talking about Jesus in there. <laughs> okay, you're talking about <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. No, all right. So you'll be talking about Jesus. Yes. In the locker room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so these conversations about Jesus, I mean, like, how do you kind of stay grounded, I suppose? I know you said, like, you've yeah. got people around you. Yeah. Um, but also, I mean, is it hard? No, it's, it's extremely difficult. But I think for me, the biggest thing has been knowing um, what I want to give to my wife and placing that above temporary pleasure. Um, we yeah. like that, don't we? Yeah, I mean, it has, it has not been easy. And there's been some close calls here and there. But through God's grace, I've been able to, to close hold Close calls. Yeah. Were those the friend zone calls? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, they don't need to worry about their edges then. Okay, fantastic. Well, um, <laughs> I mean, you've got a few uh, songs left to sing for us, yes. but we are going to open up the, the microphone now. Um, sorry, the floor. <laughs> um, for you guys who might have some questions for Mr. Johnson. So, is there a mic to go around? Or should we take this one? Okay, so we've got, have we got any questions in the room? Okay, I like it. Straight away, here you go. So what's your name, where are you from? Minty from Birmingham. From Birmingham, man. What up? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's good to see you. Yes, sir. What does the C stand for? <laughs> um, Cornelius. Sean Cornelius Johnson. I actually thought about going by that as my stage name, just Cornelius. Um, or even Sean Cornelius, but it ended up being Sean C. Johnson. So, so yeah. Cornelius. So Cornelius, yeah. Cornelius. Okay. Do we, oh, we have another question at the back. Okay, I'm coming to you. Nobody told me I was going to have to walk. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. 
Okay, what's your name? Where are you from? My name's Lorena. I'm from London. What up? Um, <laughs> um, when writing, where do you get your inspiration from? For just singing or for... Um, what's... When you're writing your material. When I'm so writing, just... um, from my life, um, honestly, and then my friends and family, things that they go through, um, I realized early on in my career that what I go through is not just unique to me. Um, so there's other people who go through the same experiences. Um, and God is, um, by his grace, has given me a gift to sing and to write. Um, so I want to share. I want to be able to share and edify God's people um, through that gift. So I'll share my experiences in the hopes that others can be edified. So my life is, is the biggest inspiration. So, yeah. We've got another, we got another question here. Mariah. <laughs> Hi, Sean. What's up, <laughs> songbird? I wanted yeah. to do that because everybody's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, of all the songs you've written, yes, which one means the most to you and why? Wow. Uh, um, I did a on a, I did a free project um, <clears throat> called Grateful, and there's a song on there. I did a remix to Silver and Gold, um, and I used a, a Jay Dilla beat um, to do it, and. The reason it means that much is because the two people that, that influenced that song were Jay Dilla and then Kirk Franklin. Um, they've been instrumental in, in shaping my music and just how I approach ministry in general. Um, so that, and I think it really captures, um, to me, my sound. Like, when I hear, every time I hear it back, I'm like, man, like, out of all the songs I've done, like, I got it right. Like, as I can be a perfectionist sometimes, but when I listen to that song, it's like, yeah, I got, I got it right, so yeah. But yeah, silver and gold, the remix. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Have we got any more questions? We must have another question. Oh, yeah, we've got a question here at the front. If Maybe there was the any front. artist that you could collaborate with, who would it be and oh. why? Any artist I could connect with? Um, Molly Music would be one. Um, and why? Um, I just think we would really make some dope music together. Like. Um, I would really love to see what we, we would be able to create. And I've been fortunate really to work with two people who have really been um, instrumental or who's, who, are, who I was fans of and now I, I consider them or they consider me their peer um, was Lisa McClendon was one. Yeah. And then um, I don't know if y'all know the young lady by Adrian Archie. Yeah. You... Yo, like real talk, she is a better human being than she is an artist and she's an incredible artist. Um, so, but she's, she's awesome. So I, those are two people I got to work with, but Molly Music will probably be another one. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think I'll be here for that co collaboration. More than Fresh DC anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> okay, um, we had a question here, just right here at the front. You should put your hand up. Thank you. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's hilarious. Um, having like worked with loads of different artists, secular and gospel, what made you stick to gospel and not move over to secular? Um, because I realize like the gift doesn't belong to me. I'm, I'm merely a steward of this gift. Um, and I, I realize like God has given it to me for a reason and I want to use it to edify his people. Um, so I'm, yeah. Amen. Amen. Do we have any more questions? Oh, yes. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, what up, Sean? You good? What up? I'm good, man. man I'm you good, know me. Bro. You know yeah, I'm man. here. Max yeah. and chillaxing. You know, you know what I'm know? saying? I'm out here. Hey. We out here. We out here. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, fun and joke aside though, how yeah. did, how did... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I love it. I love it. Now, how did you get your beard to grow like that, bro? <laughs> Man got the arm braid, you got the black going into the arm braid, the, the <laughs> brown and the... Nah. <laughs> we talked about this. Uh, yeah, I dyed it like this. Uh, I took, yeah, I dyed it like this. It didn't naturally grow like that. But yeah, I wish it did, that'd be pretty fly. But, uh, but no, I dyed it like this, and this was one of the reasons. Um, are there any artists in the audience? Any artists? Any people who are... Besides... <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was something somebody told me a while back. They said, as artists, you want to have something um, called the Halloween Theory. You want to apply that to your branding. Well, basically, if someone were to dress up as you for Halloween, how would they know that it's you? Like, with people who see you, would they know that, hey, you're dressing up as such and such? Um, so for me, this is something that sticks out and um, allows people to recognize. It's instantly recognizable, um, and it helps with branding. So that's, that's the business side of things. And I think that's, that's important because a lot of times in ministry, we forget the business side of things because we consider it to be secular or, or, or anything like that. But the honest to God truth is, it's a part of stewardship. Um, if you can't handle the business side of things, then the, it's, gonna, the, it's gonna affect the ministry side of things. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Amen. Um, any more questions? Any? Oh, yep, we've got one right there at the back. Hello, Sean. My name's Joe. Hey, how you doing? I'm, from I can't see you. I'm sorry. I'm Where here. You? Hey, there you are. All right. Um, on your uh, website, yes. you have form like mini YouTube clips. Yes. One of them's called Althea. Yes. And in the clip, you are in a school, mm -hmm. and well, it looks like to be a school, and you're talking well, yeah. to students. So I just wanted to know what other things do you do besides singing, and what yeah. that clip is about. That's a great question. Um, I am back home in Oklahoma. I work with a, a nonprofit organization called You for Christ. And we get the amazing opportunity to go into area high schools um, and middle schools and share the gospel. Um, State-funded schools, and they allow us to come in there and share the gospel. Um, so it's an amazing opportunity. And we kind of take the model that Jesus had where he had the 12 disciples, and he poured into those 12. He lived life with these 12, and he poured into them. And those 12 went and changed the world. Um, so we don't focus on big groups. We have a small core group of leadership kids that we have, and we pour into those kids. And those kids go and change their schools, their community, and their city. So. Thank you. Okay, we've got time for one more question. One more question. No more questions. Oh, one more question. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, we've got one at the back. Yep. Yo, yo. Um, what up? Because you're American, yeah, I kind of ask, like, I don't, obviously I don't meet a lot of Americans in, like, in the UK, but I wanted to ask you, innit? Yeah. What, um, what do you know about UK music? <laughs> um, that's Very a great question. question. Now, uh, be careful what you say here. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's Christ. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear Adele, Sam Smith. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear, like... No, there's no. a... Um, who's my guy? Um, can't Tri say that. You can't Tri say them big commercial names. Triple O um, is one of my favorite artists here in the UK. Um, what's the other guy? Um, ah, what's his name? Faith Child. Faith Child is another one. Um, Shanta, Shanta. <laughs> it's my new favorite artist. Um, but no, I, I'll be honest. Like I don't know a lot of um, local artists. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to get to know some of these artists and to, to, um, to be exposed to their art. But, um, but yeah, those are the three that I'm, that I'm definitely familiar with. So. Is there cool, like cool. a, is there a, is there a real interest in the states? Towards UK music because we've, we've um, seen so. People. How do I forget so? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> but no, yes, there honestly is, and I think so has done a great job of bridging that gap and exposing yeah. the talent that actually is here yeah. in the UK because you guys do have talent, and we're aware of that in the states yeah. um, that you guys do have talent. So yeah, okay. yeah there is an interest. Great. Was that the last question? Did I see one more hand up? There's one more hand. Okay, we've got one more. No. Oh yeah. One more? Um, as well as writing your MTV, would you produce it as well? I do not. I used to produce. On my first album, I produced a little bit, but then I realized I wasn't as good at it as, um, as some of my other friends. So I reached out to them and allowed them um, to work with me. Um, I realized um, I, my arms can only reach so far, and there's, there's a skill set that I have, and I'd rather just focus on that and allow other people to, to come in and, and help me with it. So I've been fortunate to find, it's been real difficult, um, and God, his grace has definitely been over my career so far, um, being able to find the style of music that I have and placing people in my life. And that's, to, uh, to me, that's one of the, the reasons why I keep pushing and going so hard because of all the doors and the resources that he's placed around me. Like, it's on me at this point if I, if I don't continue to move forward. Um, so God has been definitely gracious in that. So, yeah. mm -hmm. What would you say to anyone in this room who, like, because obviously you're, you're operating in your gift and your talent and your purpose, um, who's on the brink of, like, maybe tr stepping into theirs and, you yeah. know, might be battling some giants about, yeah. uh, that are, uh, you know, help stopping them from going into that? What yeah. would you say to somebody like that? Um, remember who the gift came from. And no matter what comes your way, always remember, don't ever lose sight of that. Um, know that you do have a gift. Like, don't ever doubt that gift. And three things, be consistent, work hard, and persevere. Um, you can apply that literally to anything in life and have some fruit from that. Like, if you sow those three things, you're gonna have, you're gonna bear some fruit from that. So work hard, be consistent, and persevere. Um, and you're gonna see some fruit from that. Amen, thank, oh. One, okay, <laughs> last question. Hi, Sean, really, really enjoying your show tonight. Thank you. 
Um, Thank you. I'm a musician and okay. I love music. And awesome. whilst I do love studio tracks, I also love to hear live bands. Yes. Um, so, have you got any plans in the future at all to do a live band track? <laughs> <laughs> a live band album or show? Live band album. Album? Yeah. Um, it's funny, you're like the fourth person this year that has brought that up. Um, <laughs> Somebody was like, the Lord is talking. <laughs> um, yes and no. There's, on my next project, there's going to be more live instrumentation. Um, I, may, I may end up doing a live album at some point. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we're, yeah. Here for, we're here for that, aren't yeah. we? Yes. All right. Yes, I'm definitely. Gonna do one then, so yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your questions because um, we're going to go into some, the last bit of the show now. Yes. Like the last two songs that. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 um, the last couple of songs. Yes. Um, I mean, the, the next one you're going to sing is my absolute favorite. Um, but I want to know what was the inspiration behind this song? Was it home? Yeah. Um, honestly, it was my brother. My, I have an older brother, um, he's two years older than me, and he's currently serving um, 18 years in a federal penitentiary. Um, we grew up in the same household, same upbringing, same opportunities. Um, we went two different paths. And a couple years back, he hit me up and, and um, he told me that he had given his life to Christ. Um, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And um, I always tell him, even though he has 18 years, like, I always let him know, like, listen, you have an out day. Like, this isn't a life sentence. You are gonna get out, and though you are missing a big chunk of your life, like you do, you're gonna be able to come home one day. Um, and no matter what, like I just want to encourage anybody who has family, or even you yourself, um, no matter how low you think you've gotten or how much you think you've messed up, you can always come home. So. Oh, I love that. Now I love the song even more. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Um, so I mean, that's that's the end of the questions, yes. but. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for coming and blessing us tonight. Thank you for um, really just coming and sharing your gift. Thank you for being obedient and just really, you know, hearing Christ's call and, and doing what you're doing because you are inspiring, you're uplifting, and you're encouraging, and you are a blessing. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you all, thank too, you. man, for coming out, man. This is... Um, this has been dope. So we're going to give you this mic. I'm going to use this one. Um, use this right, so that's the end of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so can we just give him one last round of applause, Mr. Sean C. Johnson? Amen. I recall when you had nothing. You was on the block trying to prove something. There was no place for a brother like you. More like three piece sitting on the first pew. Now that's you. Good kid with a big heart. When everything around you was so dark, you expected to play your part, your part, your part. What up, the script was flipped. Life hit you so hard, make you lose your grip. Now your life revolve around quarters and fifths. Rehab and you catch my drift, man. These walls ain't familiar. Never was, never will be. Even with blind eyes, I can still see, still see. I'm a long way from home, but I'm so tired of running. At the end of the day, it's time to go. Can't tell me nothing. I've got to find my way back. Got to go. Yeah, yeah. In the road, I look around and I'm all alone. I hear you singing, my child, come home. That ship is sinking, you must let go. Follow my voice. Lead you right back where you belong Cause it don't matter how far you go You can always come home You can always come home Always come home
So on the count of three, I need y'all to say mountains as loud as you possibly can. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Everybody in this room um, is going through something, some trials, some tribulations, some setbacks, some disappointments. Um, and I like to refer to those things as mountains. Some of these mountains we create ourselves, um, but sometimes God allows certain situations to come into our lives so that we can go higher. Um, we love to hang out in the valley and do our own thing, but he has a desire to make us look more and more like Christ each and every day. Um, and sometimes it takes climbing up that mountain to do it. So one more time, say mountains. mountains. Yeah. Actually, hold on for a sec. Hold on. I need everybody to get out their cell phones and turn on your flashlight. We're going to light up the sky. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 hey. yeah, I know sometimes the mountain's hard to climb. We walk by faith and oftentimes we're blind It's working for my good, it's what they say But I can't see with all that's in my way So why bother what would a diamond be Without pressure, with the flowers even bloom Without a little rain, yeah I hear you, and I can move in it for once. I don't. This is why, cause I give mountains. To you. Oh, yes, I give mountains to you. I give mountains to you, so you can go higher, so you can go. Of a mountain I'm said I yeah, yeah. on the side Tell me that my thoughts are not your thoughts Ways are not your ways Still I find it hard to say I trust you Even though I know it's not my place To the God that made the heaven, earth, and space I need you Help me make sense of all this pain I'm encouraged by the testimony those that overcame, but my heart aches with a single mom trying to maintain. She probably not able, she got that cane in the veins. It's like we build mountains with our own hands. Then we get mad at you because we don't understand that it was us to straight away see you had a plan to bring us back within your fold, keep us in your hand. I know these mountains you give us only meant to take us higher, but we love the valley. So we pursue our own desires. It's a crying shame what we do to none of pain. When there's power in your name, hit a sick, hit a lame. It's like we fight against you like you ain't out of fighting for us. All these trials and tribulations, giving the help grows, it's hard. I know it is, especially when you're scared of heights. Every time we turn around, like you got another fight. So I pray the words and speak of food to curb the appetite. When the morning comes, hope you're there so we can shed a light. Until then, I'll be sipping from the fountain. You find me on the rough side of the mountain. Come on, God bless y'all, man. Hey. So tired of